Monday morning before you head out to start your day, a look at some of your top stories. A woman is in police custody. This following a late night crash that happened right here in Providence. Happened just before 11 p.m. near the intersection of Atwell's and Mount Pleasant Avenues. Police say the woman was driving a Jeep. She hit a man with the rear of the vehicle, also hit a parked car that belongs to the victim. She underwent a field sobriety test, taken into custody of the victim in stable condition at the hospital. Bellingham fire officials tell us a man is in the hospital with pretty serious injuries after a motorcycle crash. It happened around 10 last night on South Main Street, just over the state line from Woonsocket. Fire officials say another car was involved, and fire crews tell us the person that was injured had to be flown by helicopter to UMass Memorial in Worcester. Second round of aerial spraying slated to happen in Rhode Island tonight to control the spread of Tripoli. E. This after three people in the Ocean State contracted the virus, including a man in West Warwick who died. Spraying will take place in the West Bay and southern part of the state. State. Officials say to limit outdoor time and keep windows closed during the spring. Cranston City Council members proposing a raise to the minimum wage for city employees. It would be up to $12.75 an hour and it would impact about 70 families. The council minority leader and another councilman introduced this legislation saying that the raise would have the same fiscal impact on the city as other recent proposals for raises for the mayor and city council. Traffic on the Braga Bridge will go down to two lanes on each side while the Massachusetts DOT performs routine bridge work. They'll be inspecting and cleaning drainage structures. Work is scheduled to last for about two weeks. During this time, the right-handed lanes of the Braga Bridge will be closed between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. And drivers are, of course, urged to slow down and use extra caution. And those are your top stories on this Monday morning. You can always check for updates on our news app and WPRI.com.